Well, we are on our way for our spring break 2022 trip. We're heading to Georgia. I want to see my mama. So many monuments and statues have been removed and destroyed. Mm -hmm. You can see the Atlanta skyline in the distance. So we just passed like probably 40 of these no parking signs. And I think they want, they're trying to tell us something. I don't know if you're allowed to park there. I don't know. <laughs> well, we have just arrived here at Bucky's and there is definitely not a shortage of trying to get gas. Um, there are plenty of people here looking for gas pumps. Yeah. It is slammed here. Yeah. Don't mind my hair right now. It looks like a hot mess. <laughs> ah, all right. Hopefully we can find a place to park and go in and get something to eat. Yes. We had no battery last night and no power in the RV. So we slept in the RV last night without any heat. It was a 35 degrees. 35 degrees in here this morning. So I had my little blanket over my head the whole night. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure why our batteries, both of them, are like all of a sudden bad. But we started off the night, and the heat was running, and about, I think it was 12.47 in the a.m. when uh, I woke up as the heat kicked off and all the lights got dark. So, I'm gonna have to check. Maybe the fluids are, are low, I don't know. But uh, 35 degrees this morning outside, 35 degrees inside. Truly camped last night. Not a lot of glamping going on. <sighs> Freeze warning. Fresh cut wood. Freeze warning. <clears throat> Well, we are backed into our site and we are still eight to nine inches high on the front end and the jack is all the way down. So we're not going to be level tonight and not much we can do about it. At least our head will be uphill and we won't get uh, that old dreaded headache running downhill headache. So I've been having this issue with this headlight over here, condensation. I don't have an issue with the other side. So I don't know. I uh, I took one of the light bulbs out, had it sitting in a direct sunlight, pretty much dried everything out, put it back, and it's uh, it's done it again on this trip. So I don't know if you guys have any ideas of what possibly could be causing this. I mean, it's got to have a, it's got to be you know compromised somewhere where it's getting water in and humidity so I don't know but if you know leave a comment down below I need to get this fixed we've been uh, cleaning out the basement here at Allie's mom's house and this is what we've brought up so far all this stuff bags and bags and even this trash can was empty to the start today so we've gotten uh, quite a lot accomplished Allie's still in the basement right now working and I'm gonna go down and see what I can do Allie's making, uh, well, she's actually browning some hamburger for some tacos tonight. So I figured I would film this as it's a rare occasion when she cooks for me. <laughs> I'm usually the I'm usually the one behind the stove. It's kind of nice. I might get used to this. Allie's tacos. Allie tacos. Ta <laughs> Taco Alley. Hey, we can start a new restaurant. Taco Alley? It's like Pizza Alley, only Taco Alley. <laughs> Good time with daddy. She is. Yes. We're gonna tell her tomorrow she's not a lap dog. All right. We're gonna wait till tomorrow. What's one more day, right? Right. Yeah. Nice fire. Face, look what she went and found. 
found it's it. like a freaking tree. I found it. This is what she do. She <laughs> goes and gathers firewood. And there it goes. It's going. Yep. And then she's off looking for more. We had a little fun last night and drank maybe one or two more shots than we planned on drinking but so far we both feel fine today so the plan is gonna have some breakfast gonna take nikki and get her a good walk in and then we're gonna go over and see about getting a, a ride on the gondola up to the top of snow mountain before we head on over to ali's mom to finish up helping her pack today well ali's not eating breakfast this morning she's over there uh trying to recover from the shots last night <laughs> but what a view to sit here and have your morning breakfast right outside our window here at the table stone mountain it's pretty awesome oh that's something i haven't never seen before is a fedex truck making a delivery in a campground unless he's lost all right so we're gonna take nikki hiking here this is the mus what is how do you, muskogee man i'm not sure how you pronounce that it's M-V-S-K-O-K-E. The Muskogee Creek Indian. Huh. Long before the Europeans came to this area, Stone Mountain was a gathering place for them. This trail has been named in honor of them. Oh, I see here too. It says Muskogee is spelled different here than it is up there. Okay. Well, we're going to hike this trail, try to wear Nikki out so we can go do the gondola here this morning before the rains hit. So the only thing about about this trail I would say is that you can hear a lot of traffic noise. You know, of that quiet nature. Birds. You know, singing. People. Yeah, it's uh I think we're so close to an interstate here that you just hear mm -hmm. road noise. Yep. If you just let your imagination run wild, you might think that it's running rapids. Yeah. But it's actually cars. <laughs> traffic. That's, that's true. It does sound like a very loud river running. So we're just gonna Yeah, we're just gonna pretend it's that instead of cars. So we just discovered that we uh, hit a connector trail, so we cut off probably a half a mile hiking on this trail. At this point, it should be only about a half a mile back, as we've come a half a mile. A little muddy, but now we're getting to the scenic part where we're going to be walking next to the water the whole way. I don't know if we're wearing Nikki out, but we're wearing me out, and I think we're wearing Allie out too. Are you getting wore out? A little bit, but along this left along would bother me a little bit. Oh boy. So as we're getting close to the end of this trail here, me and Allie were talking last night about uh, the gondola ride up to the top of Stone Mountain. And she was saying that you can see the carving of uh, on the side of Stone Mountain. It's really good. I mean, you can see it close so well. Yeah. And uh, got us thinking, you know, that there was so much talk about, you know, in the past about removing it. And since, you know. So many monuments and statues have been removed and destroyed. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just history, and I, I hate to see history destroyed personally, whatever yeah. it is, you know. Whatever. Well, we learn from our past, and exactly. it's there for a reason. Um, so, we, we just thought we'd pose that question to you guys, so maybe leave some comments down below. What your thoughts are on, you know, the, the destruction of a lot of these monuments over the last, you know, what, since 2020, and uh, how you feel it would, about it. Yeah, do you think it was a good thing that a lot of these statues being removed? A lot of our history being removed yeah. or do you think it should stay there to remind us of our past yeah it's history you know mm -hmm. those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it as they say all right so when we parked here we took this side of the trail all the way through and when we took it through it was through the forest there's a little connector trail so you don't have to take the whole way around we took this connector trail here but if you want to go by the water then you would take this side beautiful hike by the water yep. by the way yes this will be a first for me i've never got to do this before now that Nikki's getting a little older, she's a little more 
uh, what would you say, able to stay in the RV and rest on her own while we could do some things like this. What was it about five or six years ago we hiked this trail up in flip-flops? Yep. You can see the Atlanta skyline in the distance. You can see Atlanta pretty clearly today. So I have to say it was pretty cool. Allie was right. Pretty cool seeing the uh, the carving coming up the side of the mountain. Yeah. It is huge compared so to what you think when you're looking at it from the ground. It mm -hmm. doesn't look as big. Yep. And uh, we're here at the top. We and are. right behind us, if you can see, is the right Atlanta sky. Over there, Atlanta skyline. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to spend about 15 minutes up here, catch the shuttle back down, and then we're going to head back, pick up Nikki, head over to Allie's mom's to finish doing some packing up today. And we are going to take her out for some ice cream and go um, relax in the park. Yeah, ice cream sounds good to me right now. <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't hurt my stomach because I've been having issues with my stomach, and dairy seems to be one of the triggers. So. Yeah. It might be worth having a little stomach ache nah. just to have some ice cream while we're here. But uh, yeah, we were we were talking about the carving on the way up, and I, I just don't see getting rid of things like that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Whether you, you know. I mean, that's you, a lot of work putting that in there or carving that in the mountain. Yeah, it's not like you have to agree with you know the, what the took meaning. place. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's history. And, but it you know, is. It's art yeah. too. So mm -hmm. that's just our opinion. Uh, I'm not for destroying things in general, honestly. Yeah. There's some people up here with shorts, tank tops, and there's, there's a guy that's guy topless. topless. Oh my gosh, it's cold up here. It's windy the wind. on this side. Yeah. Well, we're not making the uh, gondola down on this one. We uh, we were too far away when we heard the bell ringing over there. So. And 15 minutes went fast. Yeah. It doesn't take long to spend 15 minutes looking at the views up here. Ah, another 15 minutes and we'll take the next one. What's another 15 minutes? We just missed our ride. There it goes. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. <laughs> we should have been on that one. If you look closely in the center of the screen there, that's the dock. That's like where we launched our paddle boards last year. That's the little island right there in the center of the screen oh, that we yeah. paddled over to. Mm -hmm. So our campground should be right about, right about in that area there. Just can't quite see the camper from here. Fun. Yes. Worth the price of admission, I would say. Ride. Yeah. I love seeing the car when close. So I'm glad I got to finally do it. I'm uh, not sorry we did it. 30 bucks. Well spent. Well spent. Oh, candy, gift shops. Oh. Oh, I Very fun, and we uh, tried to get a sticker. They had no stickers. I cannot believe they didn't have a sticker. I know. And we the girl behind the counter was saying that she tried to tell them they need to make stickers. They'd make bank here. Yeah. But uh, 
we do have a magnet from here already. Mm -hmm. And we ended up uh, picking up some uh, Stone Mountain playing cards, oh, which I'm not doing. <laughs> Stone Mountain playing cards. Yep, we, we got Stone Mountain playing cards. We love playing cards. So. I'm hoping there's guys on there like the uh, the one that we have from Grand <laughs> I don't Canyon. Think so. I'm looking at it, it's just playing. Oh. Well, I, you know, I love the ones we got from the Grand Canyon. Each card has a little history on it. All right, we're going to head back, grab Nikki, and head over to Allie's mom's, and we're going to get some ice cream. I'm ready for ice cream. Yep. This is where I went down the hill, and I had my bike okay, accident. Okay, you were going down mm -hmm. this hill. Oh, this okay. is the hill. Wow, that's a pretty steep hill. Yeah, no, ha no hands on the handlebars. Well, that wasn't smart, was it now? No, I'm like this with my hands up in the air. I'm... Wow. Yep. And then, and then about right here is where I hit the curb. Right here, went boom, boom, find the curb right, right there. I guess it's the trees around it that'll have changed. Yeah. Yeah. And you ended up in the hospital with plastic surgery on your knee. Yep. And a scar. Mm -hmm. That's Allie's childhood home. Wow. Somebody lives there because there's a trash. Yep. Yeah. Last time we checked it out, there was nobody living There's there. Bridget's house right there. Yeah. And her childhood friend, Bridget. We used to do donuts here, and you can still see all the marks that people still do today. All the donuts. I say you should do it again right now. Uh, see if you still got it. Car? I think not. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here. We have had a really good time spending this precious time with my mama. And uh, we got a lot of things accomplished around here, trying to get her packed up and... Um, hopefully having her move closer to us in Florida. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, but... leave a comment down below if you think she should move to Florida. Yeah, give us a thumbs up if you want Mama to move down closer to us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love you, Mama. I love I'm you too. I'm enjoying this time with you. Oh, I love you too, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs>